Alrighty guys, I just want to throw up this video real quick on this Bushnell AR Optic. Uh, reason being, I haven't seen a video on this exact optic and um, made it pretty tough for me to pull the trigger on this decision. I took the leap of, fa leap of faith and I'm pretty happy about it. So the reason I'm showing this kind of logically out of order, you know, you guys haven't really even seen the rifle I'm going to mount it on yet, uh, but I'm showing you a scope. I just wanted to get some kind of video out there for people that were also looking at this to have you know some video about the uh, you know especially showing the reticle. Uh, it's a first focal plane scope, so I want them to see the reticle, you know, at one x and also at you know four x because first focal plane the reticle is going to grow. All right, so without further ado, uh, there it is. The it's the Bushnell AR Optics uh, one in four PCL, the power throwdown lever or power power control lever something like that and here it is it's uh, a nice sleek design matte black I'm a big fan um, feels solid not too heavy there's the uh, power throw level lever and there is the uh, reticle so let's get you behind this thing and there you go you can see the reticle right there I'm gonna try and get you a zoomed in shot of it and this is at 1x. There you guys go. Hopefully you can see that pretty well. There you go. I'm going to try and move it slightly. There you are. Alright, so that's the reticle at 1x. This is an illuminated scope. So I'm going to try and light it up while holding this fairly steady. I'm going to go to 5. So that's 3, 4, Five. And this actually goes up to 11. So inside, and this is bright fluorescent light, uh, that's pretty visible. Um, outside, the 11 is quite visible. So I'm pretty happy with how well this illuminates. All right, now let's turn this off. Um, well, let's get you back to... Uh, there you go. So there, you can still see it pretty bright. Uh, I think this was going to work as a pretty good red dot. So let's get you to the zoomed in real quick. Uh, hopefully I can do this with one hand. Yeah, I gotta, it's tough because I gotta push down on it. Alright, give me one second guys. Sorry peoples. One second. I'm going to turn you back to zero. And let's go to... 4x, which is the max for this scope. When I get a better holder for my gun and a bipod, I'll be able to do this a little bit better. But, oh, and that moved. But let's look at it. There you go. So that's at 4x. Uh, so that's maxing. Now you can see the reticle a little better. It does have the um, drop increments. And let me zoom in on that. All right, sorry guys, this is definitely a little tricky. There you go. Okay, sorry it's not focusing that well. There you go. All right, so you can see there, you're, the way that they say in the manual is that center dot in the horseshoe, which is almost a circle, uh, center or um, zero that in at 100, the horizontal dash below it is two, then three, four, and five. So one, two, three, four, right. I think that's what it's supposed to be. Um, I'm a big fan. I think that looks great. I think that's going to be good for, you know, um, shooting at targets at a little more distance. And now let's light the sucker up. One, two, three, sorry, 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 almost. Four, five. Okay. Am I zoomed in? I forget. Anyway, there you go. Let's take it off that little, there we go. Okay, so that, was, that is zoomed in. That's not zoomed in. Pretty clear, pretty bright, and that's good at ranging. This is smaller than what you would normally see. I guess you'd see something like that when you're really looking into it. But uh, there you go. That's the reticle lit up. It's pretty bright. Like I said, this is fluorescent lights indoors. It goes up to 11, which is bright enough. Uh, but there you go. You can see how it grows. 
Um, there. So that's that's the reticle. I apologize for the camera not focusing that well, but it's only a phone. So there you go, guys. I'm gonna take it off the. Sorry, sorry. I'm gonna put you down again real quick. Gonna put you back on zero for one final good look at it. There you go. Okay, so that's pretty good. So that's at 4x. Those bat knobs back there are about the knobs, so the very end of those bat handles are uh, about one and a half inch diameter. So it gives you an idea. And there you go. You get some pretty decent eye relief. I'm about three inches away. The camera's about three inches away from the eyepiece. Um, that could be adjusted. It does have a quick focus feature. But that's a nice looking reticle in my opinion. And that's really what made me get this. Um, take the leap of faith and order this one. Uh, it was my favorite reticle. Um, the field of view isn't horrible, especially for a 4X. And the glass is pretty clear. I mean, you can't complain about that. So how much did I pay for this thing? Uh, 260 on Amazon. I am very happy for 260 on Amazon. You can get it on Optics Planet for 299, and it comes with a um, millet, um, kind of like cantilever mount. I want to get a quick detach mount, so that's why I didn't do it on Optics Planet. But uh, there you go. Um, I have zero range experience with this thing. I haven't mounted to the gun yet. Um, just wanted to get that video out there. Sorry if I say I'm a lot. I've kind of been noticing I do that. But whatever, guys. All right. And that's it at 1x. I did not want this video to be seven minutes, but it's hard to manipulate it like this. I'm sure it's annoying to you guys. But there you go. That is brightness level five, 1x. Pretty decent red dot. Let me kick it up to nine. So there you go, look at that. I mean, that's a pretty darn good red dot. I like that a lot. So I'm happy with this. One to four, um, looks good, pretty clear. And that is, that's a 10 right there. Or this is at actually 11, max brightness. Man, I think that looks great. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I think this is a great looking scope. I'm happy I took the plunge and actually got it for 260. I can't complain at all. Um, yeah. So, so far I recommend it, but like I said, I have no range time on it. Um, I assume it's gonna hold zero just fine and not move around or anything like that. So there you go. You seen the scope. I'm happy that it's up there. Thanks for watching, guys. I will put up a video maybe tomorrow or the next day. Um, telling you what scopes I was deciding between. Uh, and hopefully I'll have a mount for tomorrow. I'm going to Cabela's tomorrow, taking a trip uh, with one of my buddies. Um, yeah, we're going to leave early in the morning, get there, and hopefully I'll buy a bunch of stuff for my rifle, maybe a double rifle bag, uh, hopefully a scope mount. And, uh, you know, I'll, uh, I'll show you the spoils uh, tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon when I get back, all right? See you guys later. Thanks for watching. I'm going to keep trying to pump out videos. See ya.